Hi guys, EBP Man with Tablets for Me, and today we're going to do an unboxing of the Samsung Gear Fit. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside. Alright, so inside the box you have your Gear Fit. Okay, take a look at that in a couple seconds. You have a uh, power charging cable, and it's standard, so it's using a um, micro USB. You have what looks like a little uh, docking station. So it looks like this is where you charge your micro USB cable goes here, and this connects to the back um, of your gear fit. You have your instruction guide or your health and safety guide, a little instruction guide as you can see here, and it looks like that's it nothing else. So let's take a look at starting up the gear fit and uh, connecting it to our phone. So now let's take a closer look at the gear fit. Uh, as you can see here, uh, one of the things that uh, sets the gear fit aside from some of the other fitness bands is this uh, curved shaped LED. It's actually a 1.84 curved Super AMOLED LED. Uh, it is um, I've seen these in, in the actual store. I'm going to turn this on for the first time with you, but it's absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. The uh, gear is also uh, IP7 certified for dust and water resistance. Uh, it's not waterproof, which means you wouldn't um, go swimming with it. But if you're outside, you're running uh, in the rain, you shouldn't have a problem. Um, I'm going to test mine. I'm going to, when I go to the club, I'll even take a shower with it and see what happens. We'll see uh, how uh, water resistant it is. It has an accelerometer, it has a gyroscope, and a heart rate sensor. And if we look here at the very bottom, you'll see, let's see if we can get that in right there. Uh, there's your heart rate sensor, and then here you have your charging port. And it does come with a little uh, docking station that I showed you in the unboxing. Uh, here is our little uh, charging uh, port or, or docking st station, if you want to call it something like that. All you do is you connect it right here like this, and then you snap in. Let's see, did I get that right? Let's make sure we align that. There you go. And you heard that kind of snap in, hopefully. Um, and it, you're done. So not a real big adapter. Uh, and... And then here you um, just plug it in. So most of these devices nowadays, uh, they have some form of charging, uh, especially to bring um, that water resistance in. Uh, so you really can't have a USB plug, uh, but still, uh, you know, just a, a small adapter to carry with you if you think uh, you're going to use up the battery. Uh, speaking about battery, the battery... Uh, they're saying, and, and I still have to test this, it, that it's three to four days of low usage, um, almost up to five days um, you could get on this. We, we don't know yet. And it is work uh, using the uh, what is called uh, Bluetooth uh, 4.0. So it's a, a newer version of, of Bluetooth. Uh, it does have interchangeable bands. So one of the things that we'll look at is at the band, you have a nice little logo here, Samsung logo, um, and you can... It's very similar to my Fitbit. Um, it it, it kind of clasps the same way, and my 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 Fitbit here actually uh, comes apart from the inside. And this one is supposed to come off too. And you notice right there as I'm peeling it, it does open. So if you peel it back like this, um, here's your band, and then here's the actual device itself. Now. What I've seen is uh, there's a lot of accessories going to be coming out. For those of you who like uh, bands of different colors, and I'll just go ahead and snap this on. It's pretty easy. Uh, who like bands of different colors, who like, um, let's say, um, red, yellow, blue. There's even a lime color band available. And then there's um, some manufacturers are actually making some other bands uh, that are available for the device. And what you can do with it is um, obviously change the colors if, if that's something that's important to you. Um, it will track several things. Uh, it has several themes that we're going to be seeing on the actual uh, watch face. And one of the things they did do is they improved it so that now you can view things uh, this way, not this way when it comes to the date and time. So we'll see if, if that actually made it into this release. Uh, you will be able to see notifications on on your gear so it's very similar to your um, original gear and the gear 2 so you'll be able to see an incoming call text messages it doesn't have a microphone so you won't be able to do anything about the uh, incoming call but you will be able to uh, once again uh, see and, and answer 
uh, so that your phone, uh, when you do the answer, your phone will actually pick up. Um, it has a fitness manager, so um, we'll see how the fitness manager works um, as we uh, start using it. Uh, and it has a coach, so that as you're running or doing your exercise, it's uh, keeping track of your heart rate, and it's telling you if you need to speed up or not. Um, it also um, will be tracking, um, ultimately, also your, your, your sleep. I don't know if the sleep pattern compatibility or if they've uh, introduced that already, but we'll see that once we start setting it up. So that was a, a uh, quick intro and review. There's not a lot to it. You know, you have your, your power button right here. You can see that right there. And then, you know, you just have, um, it's very lightweight. Uh, it is larger. So if I take off, for example, my, this is my, my Fitbit, you'll notice that it is substantially larger than it. Um, a little bit taller, obviously, because of the, because of the screen. Uh, but it's it's using kind of um, similar a similar approach when it comes to the band. So let's go ahead and start it up and see how it works. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the gear. Press and hold this button. Okay, I, there was a vibration. There you see it says Samsung Galaxy Gear or Samsung Gear. Same Samsung kind of colorful logo that we saw earlier. Now the first thing it wants us to do, and we'll highlight that, is to download the gear manager uh, uh, on, on your phone. So let's go ahead and do that. So in order to get the, the gear fit manager you have to go into the Samsung App Store. So this I'm going into the Samsung App Store and I'm gonna look for the gear fit gear fit manager. Uh, once you go to the gear fit manager you basically tap it and install it. I've already done that but I just wanted to show you where where I found it. So now that I have installed it, and I'm going to go back into apps, uh, what will happen is you'll see a little um, icon like that that you see right there. Right There's my gear fit manager. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And it looks like it sees my gear fit right there. I'm going to choose it. And it is starting to communicate with the gear fit. We'll turn it on and see if anything's happening. It's confirmed that it's uh, been paired. And I'm going to hit OK. It has a pass key there that it's saying that confirm pass key. OK, I'm going to say OK by uh, tapping on that check mark, waiting for the confirmation from uh, the actual gear manager. Okay, and it says gear feet needs to be updated, so it looks like there's some uh, some type of update, so we'll do install. And it's connecting to the uh, gear, and it's vibrating as it's doing this, and if you notice, uh, it's actually uh, taking a, an update. It's taking, it looks like it's taking a Bluetooth update, see? Uh, and here you see the, the actual communication going on between the two devices. You can see that right there, connecting to gear fit, and it is downloading, and and updating. So that's not out of the ordinary. I found that um, several manufacturers, especially when they release product, you know, these things are in boxes and in crates and on boats and on ships being set, uh, sent to different parts of the world. So they may have um, improvements. And one of the things I had mentioned, I hope one of the improvements is that you won't be forced to view your the time, you know, in a um, in in this in this angle. Uh, which would make it a little bit difficult. Or, uh, so I saw uh, where it, uh, it was changed uh, to kind of a, a horizontal as opposed to a vertical view. So we'll see if that's the case. Uh, but you'll see the update. I'm going to pause the, the recording, and then once the update is complete, uh, we'll go ahead and resume. And you'll notice it's only 33%, but it is um, doing this upload via Bluetooth, and Bluetooth isn't the fastest. So let's get back to it in a second. So the update is now complete and uh, the gear is starting up again. And notice right here it says tap here to use location info on mobile device. So I'm going to say yes. And uh, on the phone I have all these things I have to agree to. Uh, you agree to provide Samsung with error logs? Sure, why not? Um, I understand and agree above terms. Hit finish. All right. Notice it's it's getting all my emails. It's syncing things really quick, and it's giving me an introduction of how to use the uh, gear fit. So it's saying tap the back button to go back. You know, 
uh, basically swipe left, swipe right, press the home button, and I'll hit close. And here uh, we have again the gear fit, and you'll notice. Let's turn this on. You know, absolutely stunning screen. Nice, beautiful color. Has the weather, um, has the time, and it has the date. And what we can do here is um, make some changes. So let's look at the styler. You can actually change uh, the way things appear. So you can. Uh, looks like you can change the wallpaper. You can change the clock. Let's see what kind of options we have here on the clock. So here you have um, again uh, dual time zone, single time zone, a pedometer clock. Uh, and it has uh, different styles. So if I change it to this, you'll notice how it will change. All I do is I have to do is, is just select the the different clocks. Looks like it's downloading a clock, and now I have this clock. Doesn't look like it rotates, so maybe I'm going to be a little disappointed. Oh, but here's this clock here, which is good. So it's downloading. It looks like uh, from the internet, and now I have a clock that I can use this way. That makes me happy. Not the prettiest clock. But still, nevertheless, uh, it's it's a clock that you can view in a different angle. Uh, you can go for this view as well, if this is something that's of interest to you. And you'll see uh, that look right there. Or you can go with uh, the standard look that we saw a couple seconds ago. It looks like there's some configuration options too, so you can determine if you want to show the date or not. And it may be that each one, so this one you can actually add a city. Uh, this one you can uh, determine if you want to uh, see events or not uh, the weather clock so lots of different clocks uh, layouts um, other settings that you can play with here uh, let's see what we have here it doesn't look like so it looks like you have a find your device you have uh, for sleep we'll uh, we'll basically take a look at this but it looks like this is the menu and what you can do is you can change things around so we'll go into a deeper view of what goes on but if we press uh, the gear now and we swipe let's see what we see so we have notifications we have a media controller we have our settings so if I go into settings I see my my Bluetooth my battery my clock wallpaper um, it looks like what happens when I press double pre the double tap so either the pedometer or the heart rate takes place stopwatch so you can control what that does um, you have a profile a privacy lock and something to reset the gear fit and information uh, that you can get about the gear fit and you can obviously swipe up and swipe down there so we can get information about the gear fit I'll do about and you know, tell you the model number and the software number. I'm sure. We'll go back, uh, and then you can find my device if you're not close to your phone. I guess. Uh, stopwatch, sleep. So pedometer, exercise, and heart rate are intended for. What does this say? All right. So, anyways, uh, not a lot there, uh, but what we'll do is we'll look at some of the configuration options. Just wanted to give you a quick view of, of the gear, and I'll be wearing it over the next couple of days, and then I'll also uh, do a review of some of the settings that we have here once we get more in-depth information. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, please like the video and share it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them on the YouTube channel.